Chuck, you want to live on Mars? Yes! But you can't breathe the air. No! <laughs> All right, so we have two options. Okay. If we're all going to move to Mars and live there, either we build a biodome habitat. Okay. That's basically Earth on Mars. I kind of like that idea. Okay, but then you can't just wander. It's not your planet. You're, you're, the, the biodome is kind of like a global spacesuit for everybody. I, you, and so it's not so, uh, it's hard, for me, it would be hard to call that home. It'd be like the Truman Show on Mars. You can only go to a certain limit. And then, and that's then it. <laughs> okay. So yeah. another option would be to terraform the place. Okay. And one of my favorite words. Get your ass to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> terraform, get your ass to Mars. What? Stop hogging all the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the thing. The... Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars. Which so, is... so, so, here's why everyone's talking about Mars and not Venus. You ever wonder why? Uh, okay, here's why. Because men are from Mars. <laughs> okay. Venus is 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Runaway greenhouse effect. Wow. And I did the calculation. Okay. You could put a pizza on the windowsill. It'll cook in nine seconds. That bad. I love now, it. Now, here's the thing. Mars rotates once about every 24 hours. Okay. Did you know that? That's kind of what we do. And it's tipped on its axis. Kind of like what we as are. As we are. It has polar ice caps. So do we. As we do. And on its surface, there's all this evidence that it once had running water, uh, 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 meandering riverbeds, nice. bone dry today. Right. Uh, uh, hey, we're headed there too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, so, so Mars just got everybody's imagination. So, there's no water there now, but there was once, where, where do you think the water went? Um, I, underground? Well, we don't really know. Oh, okay. No, but we think underground. Well, thank God. <laughs> no, I think. was just guessing, like, wildly. <laughs> no, to, no, no. If it went anywhere, it went underground. Right. And Mars is very cold, and so we think it's a, like a permafrost. Permafrost, Perma right. Permanently yeah. frozen down there. All right, so what you want to do is Ooh. you want to warm the planet. Ah. Get the water back on the surface, okay? And there's not much atmosphere there. It's mostly carbon dioxide, right. which is what kind of a gas? Greenhouse? A greenhouse gas, but it's only 1% the thickness of our atmosphere. So even though it's almost entirely CO2, right. it's not thick enough to trap the heat gotcha. coming from the Martian and surface there you go. that got there from the sun. Right. So guess how that works? Sunlight comes in, which is mostly visible light. Correct. It's absorbed by the soils. Right. And it re-radiates in infrared. That's what gets trapped right. by greenhouse gases. But with no atmosphere, what with the thin that atmosphere, there's nothing, but there's nothing going on. Right. Okay. So it's cold. So. Everybody's wondering, let's warm the place. All right. Can we release some of the CO2 that's frozen on the poles? Can we get the water back out? Do you know the water molecule is also a greenhouse gas? That's right. Did you know Water that? vapor is probably the most prevalent greenhouse it's, gas. It's in, in our atmosphere, in correct. Our There's more water vapor than anything, anything else. Anything else, right. If you get all the CO2 that we have found in the polar ice caps, all right. because it's like dry ice there. Okay, that's Because right. dry ice on Earth is CO2. Right. Okay, so, so you'd get all of that, evaporate it. Then get all the water, it's evaporate that. It's still not enough to make a big difference in the greenhouse trapping of Mars. Oh, wow. So if we want to warm the planet, you got to BYO. BYOGHG? Yes. <laughs> Bring your own greenhouse gas? BYOGHG. I think we could do that. You think we could do that? You know, all right. I mean, Methane, we can bring... Oh, methane! Oh, methane's can, another greenhouse gas. We can bring some methane. How are you going to do that? Well, there's just, you know, eat a lot of chili. <laughs> Meat and beans to... Methane. I believe that's the molecular <laughs> combination for methane. In a, in a chemistry Meat book. and beans. <laughs> methane. <laughs> so bring everybody just uh, with some chili bowls. Said, chili bowls. <laughs> Everybody gets a bowl of chili. <laughs> Welcome to Mars. Here's your bowl of chili. Help out the, <laughs> help, help out the locals. There you go. Help out the ecology. Here's your bowl of chili. <laughs> but, but farm animals also give off methane. Mm -hmm. You get that from, because the it, when they digest cellulose, which is the, the fibers in plant life. So... Uh, cow, multiple stomach animals are right. burping and and and, it, and there are all kinds of all, all orifices are giving off the the, the methane. Right. Termites do it too. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah big source of methane in the world. That's actually. what I tell my wife all the time. I'm just like, we have termites. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> that, wasn't that wasn't me. Oh, you can't blame the dog. No, the dog. we don't have a dog. So I gotta blame the termites. <laughs>
but so the problem is there's not enough in on planet carbon dioxide and water vapor to pull this off. So you'd have to bring your own or find some other way to heat the planet. Mm. And Elon Musk has a plan. Uh oh. Okay, so he's he's thinking of putting satellites in orbit that have big reflectors that focus sunlight that would otherwise miss the planet, right. focus it down on the planet, and just add more energy to the planet, heating it up. And if you do it right, you might be able to set sort of a, a, um, a, chain, a, reaction? a, a chain reaction in place. If everything there's frozen and it gets warmer, you'll evaporate more carbon dioxide, and that'll help trap more heat, and then that'll make it hotter to evaporate even more carbon dioxide. You get all of that out of the system and into the atmosphere. Then now it's warm enough, now you're still mostly greenhouse gases, you still need oxygen to breathe. Right. So now you put microorganisms that eat the, the CO2, and they- They release oxygen. They release oxygen. <clears throat> like, plants do that, but the, you know, on Earth, there's something called cyanobacteria. Right. They changed the ecology of the Earth more than anything else that has ever happened, including humans. Wow. We had a mostly carbon dioxide atmosphere. The cyanobacteria said, mm, I'm eating some of that. This sounds good. And, it mm. sounds good, and out comes oxygen. They created an oxygen uh, atmosphere. Oxygen-rich atmosphere. Right. Wow, and, with the, and then everything else is kind of based off of that. Uh, ba based off of that. Everything now, else here, we know and love. Here's right? the question. What? How long does this take? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't, that's the big problem. Is it a thousand years? Is it a million years? Or it, can you speed it up with some, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, fast-acting microbes? This remains to be established. Cool. But I'm telling you that if we're going to be a two-planet species, I'm thinking you got to terraform Mars for that to happen. Nice. And is Mars the best planet of all the planets to terraform? I'm not burning my ass on Venus, A. Okay. B, I'm not going to Mercury because it's three inches That's from the surface of the sun. Okay. Okay. May, there could be moons of outer planets. Like moons of Jupiter? Moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Okay. Titan has an atmosphere. Uh-huh. Okay. You might be able to terraform that if we have the right formulas and recipes. But we're not really there yet. Not even there yet. It's, it's way in the future. <clears throat> so Mars is the closest thing to us with the best possible results. Correct. And so and it's near and it's nearby and it's and it's got as close as we could have ever wanted, I think, to, to pull off this experiment. So so yeah. Yeah. And has it occurred to anyone that perhaps we should just take care of this planet? <laughs> Here, no, here's the thing. The day we have the power to terraform Mars, to turn Mars into Earth, we will have the power to turn Earth into Earth. Oh, that is awesome! I never See thought of that. There? If we could terraform Mars. Because people are saying, oh, we need, are we going to terraform Mars, move there because we've trashed Earth? Right. And I'm saying. It means that we're able to geoengineer our own planet to a place where we could live. Turn Earth back into Earth. It's not a bad answer. It's a good answer. But here's another problem. Mm -hmm. Escape plan. We need a place to go because we'll get hit by a giant asteroid. So you want to we want to become a two planet species, right? In case there's a risk of a, a catastrophic collision with some celestial body. Okay, so what you're saying is we ship a billion people there. We got billions here, and then one of them goes extinct, and while the others watch. You know, I kind of like that. <laughs> I'm just saying that's kind of cool. <laughs> Like, like if I'm on Mars and Earth gets hit with a, you're asteroid, cool with that. I am so cool <laughs> with that. So here's the thing. Go ahead. I don't know if it's just me. Right. Whatever it takes to terraform Mars right. from advanced geoengineering. Yes. It seems to me that by then we could just bat asteroids out of the sky as they come. It seems to me we'll be in advanced enough to have a perfect antivirus serum so that there's no killer virus that takes it out. It seems to me we'd have the power to protect either planet from anything that could render us extinct. Something's telling me you have a bias towards Earth. I like me some Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Earth is good. So Chuck, we done here? Oh, we're done. So let's say you just wanted to get some video footage of Mars. You would have to build a spaceship, commission NASA to do your mission control work, <laughs> go to Mars, have a special camera, take actual footage of Mars. Who do you think you are, NASA? Or you could do what we did. Storyblocks, that's right. That's how we got access to shots like this, and this, and this. 
We got them all from Storyblocks. Storyblocks video has video and images and audio and templates for anything you want. Mars stuff, boom. Scary stuff, boom. Clowns, ugh. <laughs> Scary yes, clowns. Yes, unfortunately, <laughs> even that. Yeah. Some of the video in this video came from Storyblocks. So head to storyblocks.com slash startalk and sign up now. Check out their unlimited plan for all the royalty-free media you could ever wish for. Check out the link in the description below and learn more about Storyblocks video. And as always, I bid you.